I'm happy to help you learn some new phrases in English. In all phrases, one word is missing. Try to hear it and listen and repeat. Do the decorations. Do the decorations. Make a cake. Make a cake. Do the gardening. Do the gardening. Make tea. Make tea. Do the washing up. Do the washing up. Make a special dish. Make a special dish. Do the shopping. Do the shopping. Make a phone call. Make a phone call. Do the dusting. Do the dusting. Do your homework. Do your homework. What verbs have you heard? You are right. To do and to make. Let's learn when and where we have to use these verbs. We use the verb to do if we have to speak about work, jobs and tasks. Don't create anything we can touch. No physical object. We use the verb to make if we speak about creating, producing or building. We create something new that we can touch. A physical object. Please look at the pictures and read the examples. Now listen and repeat, please. Do the decorations. Do the decorations. Make a cake. Make a cake. Do the gardening. Do the gardening. Make tea. Make tea. Do the washing up. Do the washing up. Make a special dish. Make a special dish. Do the shopping. Do the shopping. Make a phone call. Make a phone call. Do the dusting. Do the dusting. Do your homework. Do your homework. Now you know 10 new phrases. Try to read and translate yourself.
SA land. Now let's do some exercises. Look at the picture and choose the correct verb. Fill the gaps with make or do. Read the sentences below. Choose the correct item. Please take your pen, look at the picture and write the phrase. Then you can control yourself. Do the decorations. Do the decorations. Make a cake. Make a cake. Do the gardening. Do the gardening. Make tea. Make tea. Do the washing up. Do the washing up. Make a special dish. Make a special dish. Do the shopping. Do the shopping. Make a phone call. Make a phone call. Do the dusting. Do the dusting. Do your homework. Do your homework. Now let's describe the pictures. What tense will you use? Of course present continuous tense. Look at the pictures and answer the question. What are the people in the pictures doing? I hope you did well. In this lesson you learned how to use verbs correctly. You know difference between two verbs to do and to make.
You can read, write, speak and understand 10 new phrases. Now you know what verb we use there. Goodbye.